Welcome to this training session on adding research output to your profile in Esploro. Researchers like you who use Esploro can maintain your research output here so that other researchers can see it. This training session will show how to do that. After you sign in to the research portal, you arrive on the overview page of your profile. You can click Add Content to get started right away, or select the Output tab to see if there's any research material already here. Add some new content by clicking here. Right away, you must select the asset type you are submitting because that will affect the metadata you add later. Asset types range from creative work to datasets to software and more. When you pick the appropriate type, a second list of choices appears for exactly what type of content you have. That choice may open the option to search for the content by identifier, such as DOI, ISSN, ISBN, and so on. If the content has already been published and you have such an identifier, enter it here. You can also link to the content hosted on a public website. With an identifier or a URL, Esploro will go out and find the content. If it finds the right content, click on it, and Esploro will retrieve as much of the metadata as is available, which will save you from having to enter it yourself. If you have new research output in a file, you can drag it from your computer and drop it here or click Select Files to find it on your computer or your institution's network. Esploro will try to extract metadata from the deposited file and will auto-populate the form accordingly. You can then define access rights and licenses on the files and links to allow certain users to see the content later. There are now several tabs of information across the top of the page. When you're done filling out the essentials, you can jump straight to any other tab, or, if you don't need to add any more metadata, you can skip to the end. We'll cover that option in a few minutes. Click the button in the upper right that is suggesting you go on to Step 2 to describe the work. The Describe It tab has places to add a title, research topic keywords, related people involved in the content, and even an abstract. Notice the symbol here with an A and a lightning bolt. This is where Esploro was able to find metadata for you based on the information you added on the Essentials tab. You can modify and add metadata here as needed. The next step takes you to the Specify tab with more information like the publication status, peer review status, language, and so on. This tab has different fields depending on the type of content you have. For example, if you're adding a data set, you can indicate when the data was collected, and you can add additional information like geospatial location, research methods, and so on. Finally, the Relations tab gives you an opportunity to connect this content to a particular grant. In the future, Esploro will also allow you to connect this content to other research output in Esploro, or to research projects. At any point, you can stop and save this as a draft. Back on your main Profile page, you can find the content on your Output tab with the label Draft. The Final Review page is next. By the way, this is the page you come to when you skip to the end. You need to acknowledge reading the terms and conditions from your institution. You can also add any notes you'd like to pass on to the administrators of your institution's Esploro service. When you're done working on the asset, click Submit in the upper right corner. You will be able to submit only if you have filled out all fields denoted by your institution as mandatory. Notice that on the In Process tab, this content has been submitted. For now, it isn't visible to anyone in Esploro except you and the Esploro administration team at your institution. That administration team will look at the content and if they need more information added, they will send you an email and you'll see the label here, Returned. You can then make the changes and resubmit the content. When the administration team accepts the content, it will appear here on the All Assets list. At that point, anyone who searches for your profile in Esploro will be able to see this, assuming they meet the access rights conditions you set up earlier. And that is how you can add your research output to your profile in Esploro.